Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm bringing you a geometric pattern illustrator tutorial. I've shown you how to do something similar to this inside of Photoshop using the step and repeat function, but a process like this is just so much easier to do inside of Illustrator. I wanted to show it to you here as well. I know there's going to be some people that are just all about one program or another and I only say that because I know I'm a Photoshop person and I'll figure out any way to do something in Photoshop before I fire up another software but this one is uh, worth opening up Illustrator to do because it's just a lot easier and simpler to do it this way. So I'm going to show you a shape similar to the ones that you see here. It's just a simple process that I'm going to show you, but I made these here because I wanted to show you all of the different things that you could do with this just on the starting shape. So right here I have a starting shape of a square and you can see how different it is to these two. This one is a star shape with 10 points. This is a star shape with four points. So you can see the difference between these two just based on that one little difference. Um, everything else is exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is start off with this 10 point star shape right here and we're going to make something that's a little bit different from even the ones that we have right here. Okay so I'm coming over here to my canvas and I'm going to start off with the shape tool that's going to be right here. You're probably going to see something like this. Just click hold it and we're going to choose the star. And then I'm just going to click on the canvas to bring up this menu right here. I'm going to keep the radius 1 at 50, radius 2 at 25, and I'm going to keep my points at 10. I'm going to click OK. So I have this little shape right here now. I'm going to press the letter V on my keyboard and then hold Shift and Option and drag that out. Uh, I'm holding, I was holding the Shift and the Option key just to make sure that this stayed in proportion. Okay, now I'm going to press the letter A on my keyboard. This is the direct selection tool and that's going to allow me to work with these points right here. So I can either bring these in or uh, take them out. So what I'm going to do is just take it out to about right there. And you can see I've turned that star more into a, a gear style shape. I'm going to press the letter V on the keyboard to grab that and make it bigger. I'm holding shift and alt or option. The reason I'm making it bigger is so that it's more visible on camera. Okay, now I'm going to press command and the letter C to copy this shape. Command and the letter F to paste that shape right in place. And I'm going to change the color of this one to this pink color. So let me go ahead and bring this down. Shift and Option just to drag it down. I'm going to make it really small. So we have one really big shape, one really small shape. Now I'm just going to grab both of these. Just rubber band select them. And I'm going to come here to Object, Blend. And I'm going to go over here to my blending options first just so that you see the way I have this set up. So for my spacing I have this set to specified steps. That's going to be the second one here and I have my steps set to 20. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to come back into Object, Blend and Make. So I have something that looks really interesting already but because we are doing the geometric shapes I'm going to take this a little bit further so I'm going to come here to Effect. Pathfinder and Exclude and I have this kind of wavy almost 3D geometric shape effect here and what I'm going to do is show you how you can use this shape right here to create so many different shapes. Before I do that though I'm going to have to grab this just this center section right here so double click right here to directly select this little section right here. So you don't want to have the whole thing selected just this little portion right here. Now I'm going to come back up to Effect, Distort and Transform. I'm going to choose Transform. Make sure that Transform Objects and Transform Patterns is selected and now we're just going to work with the angle here. So that's the angle at about 26 and I can keep going with this. Kind of looks like a skirt, like top view of a skirt or something. 
Um, but you can keep going and you start to get V's like this where they start to overlap each other. Keep going even further and this is starting to look more like a geometric shape and if you keep going further you can get it to look even more complicated you know and then you can just keep going and you can see all of the different shapes that you can get just from that one 10 point star shape so now right there we're kind of back more or less where we started so we're going from here to here which is something a little simpler so I think I'll go ahead and leave this at 30 so play around with this see what shapes you can get out of it if you like this video and found it helpful, make sure to like it and share it with a friend. I put out Photoshop, Illustrator, and other design program tutorials every single week. So if you don't want to miss another tutorial, make sure to subscribe to this channel. And as always, visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.